piece of it and shaken up is Sanchez. Breaking ball kind of hung up there in the middle of the plate. A little bit of a mistake there from Robertson, but Dozier a little on top of it. And Sanchez gets it where he, you don't want it. And we'll see if he's going to be able to continue. Looks like he will. Joe Girardi's headed back, and Robertson saw right away, and, and he knew his battery mate was in considerable pain, but Sanchez, all right. Got Stephen oh, Vogt and man. he goes oh. down. Oh no. Well, you can sort of take a guess on this one, Xavi, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah, I, I think him rolling around kind of said it, said it all. That's Carson Blair, who is the third catcher. Generally, with the expanded rosters in September, teams will always call up a third catcher. I'm not, I'm not even sure that he, he can make it back there. Continue this game. That's that's painful. So Blair's going to head to the dugout and get himself ready. Oh my goodness, wow. Wow. So Blair will come in and Stephen Vogt, we're thinking about you. And man, you just hate to see that. Wow. I mean, it seems like every game he goes back there, he takes a ball somewhere. Yes, he does. He takes a beating back there, and he's. He was playing first all day today, feeling comfortable, everything going good. And you have all these switches. Runner goes, pitch out, throw to second. Got him. And it looks like he is hurt. He tried to make a funky slide to get out of the way. Let's see if he's okay. Looks like he might have pulled something as. The Yankee staff out there quickly to see if Hicks is all right. Great call from the Texas bench on the pitch out. Hicks tries a trick slide, pops up, and hard to say. Don't want to speculate, but dangerous looking slide. You hope all it is, David, is that 
got the wind knocked out of him because of where the tag was applied. He knows he's out. He tries to pop up quickly. Looks a good hitter like Trout. Hot shot to third and Aribe. He got nailed by that ball. And yes, he's he down. did. And he's in a lot of pain. Out comes Jeff Desjardins. Along with Terry Francona, they'll take a look at a rebate. That this could be the second like, player yes, on I was going to say this is exactly uh, I think what like what happened to Gomes in Seattle. The rebate that ball was uh, had some top spin to it, coming right there at him, and you know it, it's not it's not going to be pretty. It's a one hopper, and you know just couldn't get the glove to it and. He's going to need a lot of time. Well, yeah, game Gomes missed what three, three straight. Uh, I believe he did. I'm trying to think of what game it was in it was Seattle. Was it, it the, was first the first one? one? Okay, and he yes, he didn't play till he got here. If anybody has ever had that happen to them before, you know that all you can do is just wait for it to subside. There's not a whole lot anybody no. can do for you. And Terry Francona's probably wondering, okay, Michael Martinez could come in to play third, and then you'd need somebody to go into the outfield. I would assume Tyler Naquin. If assuming a rebate is not able oh, to continue. I don't think he's going to continue. He can barely move. It's taking him a few minutes just to get him to roll over to the other side. Oh, Jason Kipnis is starting to get loose, so maybe he'll just come in to play second base and Ramirez will go to the outfield. Yeah, I do not see Uribe in this game the rest of this day, that's for sure. Let's hope he can get up and walk off. They're going to help him do his feet, and it looks like Jason Kipnis is indeed coming into the ball game. Now the Indians jumped out early today with a solo home run in the first inning with two outs by Francisco Lindor. And Santana let off the second with a solo shot. I think they're going to bring the card in here. And then they tacked on three more to make it a four run second inning. And David Huff did not survive inning number two. And that's been it. Through three innings, Danny Salazar has been very good. Did they? How did they? Score that. They gave him a hit, huh? Oh, yeah. That's a base hit. That ball was smoked. Here comes the cart. They are going to cart him off. Looks sick, sick to his stomach. Yeah, man. sure does. He's, he is in some kind of pain. Look at he just he can't even take a step. Watching a rebate make his way to the cart. He can. He's he can not barely moved. Uh, I know that they're gonna either going to have to pick him up or they're going to have to get there. It is. That's the first couple of steps we. Don't hit any bumps on the way out. Oops. 
a little misjudgment right there on that pitch. And as good as Salvi's hands are, he couldn't get he couldn't get his glove on that one. Now, usually it's a curveball that bounces. But that was a fastball, and that threw Salvi off. I'm not sure exactly what the but yeah maybe it was a cutter but at 89 it certainly was an off speed if it was his curveball and that's one of the shortest curveballs I've ever seen from Wade Davis but anyway Salvi he's not used to seeing that pitch either and he just misjudged it he came up out of his crouch. I think Salvi will be fine as long as he can stay in that position the rest of the night. Yep. Some deep breaths. He'll be all right. Gentlemen, we apologize for what you're about to see. Yeah, it was a curveball. Triples. Of course, he's not a base stealer. He seems like he's all or nothing. Eight home runs, 20 ribbies. He is hitting for a good average, 29 wow. hits in his 95 Second at foul bats. ball that's nailed an Indians player. This one got Jan Gomes pretty good. And out comes James Quinlan again with Terry Francona. Wow, are you kidding me? I mean, this is in the span of about five minutes, two Indians players. Dropped by foul balls. Seattle out to a 2 0 lead on a first inning. Two out, two run homer by Nelson Cruz, as we'll take another look here. Mm. Oh. Well, this is like what, what, what happened back in Cleveland when we were there, that umpire that we had in that one game hit twice and had to, you know, take a spell and a breather both times. There's absolutely nothing you could do there. The Indians came into this game having won six in a row. Seattle has lost four straight. Mariners, though, just four games back at Texas in the AL West. And they've got a four game lead on Houston. Yeah, well, Astros are playing Texas. Yeah, well, Texas took the lead in the bottom of the eighth, four to two. It's that game is heading to the ninth down there in Arlington. Speaking of that, the Detroit Tigers were down two to nothing going into the bottom of the ninth at home against Toronto. They rallied for two to tie it. Ian Kinsler with a walk off knock in the tenth to win it for the Tigers as Detroit gets uh, two games over 500 yeah. now at 30 and 28. Yeah, and they've won five in a row. Yeah, they they battled back. They're playing much better. And there you'll see Kansas standing. City got pounded by Baltimore. Well, Chris Jimenez has his gear on, and it looks like he's coming into the ball game. Well, he is suited up, no doubt, and he's coming out of the at least. He'll keep uh, Cody Anderson loose until a decision is made on Gomes. Now Bill Welke saying, "Hold on a second. I don't know if he's uh, he might not be allowed to go out there and warm up the pitcher until, until they make, they a, make decision. a decision. At least that appears to be what Welke told him. Gomes is going to call it tonight. I think. I think you're right. This time, yes, he is going to call it tonight. That 
That's awful. I mean, well, it, it, it certainly is. That's, there's not much you can do about it. That's all about playing that position. But I, I think that's smart. Get him out and see how he's going to be feeling here. So Jimenez is, will be coming into the ball game. Fouled off at home plate, and that got Avila. And it got him good. So much so that Kevin Rand comes trotting out. It's going to last a while. <laughs> no balls in one strike. He has taken one off the finger. He has taken one off the left shoulder. And, and where else? Uh, he's taken one off the uh, left inner thigh. One and two, and I got a piece Ooh. of McCann. Somewhere on that right leg, you don't know if it's the foot, the ankle, the knee. And then when you have those shin guards, they get foul ball off the crease. Take a look and see where this gets McCann. What? You know better than I do, Flash. I don't know if it uh, hits you on your shin bone through those or what in the world. Well, I uh, think that hit him no. on a place that has a little protection, but just not enough. Eh, we don't need him. I had a bad angle on the first one, Flash. Sorry we had to see that second one. Now, I always say that the foul balls off the mask don't really hurt. It looks a lot worse than it is. <laughs> You're I, telling me those I, are can't, I cannot <laughs> say the same thing for that foul ball right there. Uh, you know, one time in spring training, I went up there and I found, you know, your your mechanics are so bad. I fouled a ball off the plate and it came straight back up and he was running around the bases. Ooh. That one takes a piece out of Derek Norris. Mm. Yeah. Norris has played a ton early on here this season. He'll take a moment for himself. Buddy Black have to check with him. Holly Navarro, one of the Padres athletic trainers. Being a catcher, it's not a joke back there. No. Foot inside of the foot. That's where it initially got him. Hey, remember he got one in the toe the other day, last night, correct? Yeah. yeah. You know they got the little piece of the shin guard that hangs over the toe, and right. somehow the ball finds the one little part yeah. that isn't covered, and so that was kind of a twofer for Derek Norris. Boy, he is working up a serious lather underneath that helmet as well. Another humid night here in San Diego. So you want to be a catcher, huh? Will Nieves, the other catcher on this 25 man roster. Looks like Norris is going to try and stay in the game. He's going to put the mask back on. Does that surprise you? Oh, man. This is a tough dude. It's 
Banya will get loose, give Norris an opportunity to see how he feels. That guy Tells his pitcher, I'm good. God. I'm good. I love that guy. Couple deep breaths. And he's going to stay in the ball game. And a little foul ball, and they've caught a piece of Sucre. And Evan Gaddis can certainly feel for Jesus Sucre. Let's see where I got him. Kevin Cash being a former catcher himself sympathizes with that. Help to his feet there. Wilson Ramos looking on from the Rays dugout. Less painful pitching than it is catching. Oh, yeah. yeah I mean, there's, there's just not words. When you get hit where Jesus Sucre got hit, you need time. It is a, it's a horrible, horrible feeling. And now able to take a deep breath and let's get back to, <laughs> back, get back to work. And, and, and actually.